This is my second review of the movie Dragon Ball Evolution. I enjoyed my first Dragon Ball Evolution review, but after watching it again, I think it I think it can be better. And besides, I did not appreciate the spam I got or I did not appreciate the spam or the rating I got on my last video. Dragon Ball Evolution, of course, was a movie released in 2009 based on the media franchise of the same name. I saw this movie two weeks after it released in 2009, and I loved it. It was it was an awesome, it was awesome. It's actually one of my favorite movies, and I've watched this movie about 50 times, and after watching this movie, after watching this film again, I love it even more. The story was 2,000 years before anyone could remember, a warlord named Piccolo came from beyond the stars with his minion, the, the demon Ozaru, and started destroying everything in their path. But seven mystics band together and created the Mafu Ba, which sealed Piccolo, which sealed Piccolo away, and the Ozaru disappeared. Now. He, now, in the present day, he has somehow escaped, and it's up to Goku and his friends to find the seven Dragon Balls and make one wish to banish Piccolo from this world. This film is loosely based on the King Piccolo and the Piccolo Jr. sagas, which are the last two sagas and seasons of, of the original Dragon Ball, and with some elements from the Emperor Pilaf saga, which is the first season and first saga of the original Dragon Ball. This movie was a reimagining of the entire Dragon Ball franchise, w franchise, which means the story and characters were somewhat changed, hence the title, Dragon Ball Evolution. Some of it was good, some of it was bad. I'm going to talk about the good, the bad, then I'm going to, talk, then I'm going to end with the good. First, I'm going to talk about the characters in this movie. The first one is the main character, Goku. I love Goku in this film. Justin Chatwin did a great job. I like how this film modernized Goku, but kept some of his personality and ability, personality traits and abilities. And I love the redesigning of Goku's gi. Next is Bulma. Going into this film, I really did not care much for Bulma. She's not one of my favorite characters in the anime. But once I saw this film, Emmy Rosum, Bulma's actor, surprised me. I loved how, once again, they totally revamped her character. She's more of an action hero in this film with guns, but is also still a scientist and gifted with technology. Emmy Rosum did a great job. Next is Roshi. Chao Young Fat was an awesome Roshi. He doesn't look like him, but he acts like him, and I like how they managed to make him realistic, yet have him as a wise and powerful superhuman martial artist. Same goes for Grandpa Gohan, who was the closest to his character personality-wise. Both actors did a great job. Next is Chi Chi, who is, who, once again, I did not care for, but once I saw this movie, I was surprised. Jimmy Chung is more of an easygoing tomboy who loves fighting and not an aggressive and not an aggressive, wholesome lady, which is her, which is how she's portrayed in the anime, which is how Chi Chi is portrayed in the anime. Next is Yamcha. I loved Yamcha in this film. I loved his new look. I loved his personality. Personality. He's like a, he's like a, he's like a match. He's like a macho surfer dude character who acts tough but is not and is great once you get to know him. I loved his tools and his knowledge of technology. And I love the actor, and I love how the actor sounded just like the voice actor in the cartoon. I actually thought his voice was dubbed over in the film. I didn't think the the Japanese June Park could speak English, but I was wrong. Okay, um, next is Mai. Once again, we have another character I did not like. I did not originally care for. I actually hated this character in the anime. She's, but once again, after seeing this movie, Emiko Tem Tamira. Um, surprised me. She was awesome. She was the total opposite of her character in the anime. She was a badass film fatale, and that's all I'm gonna say about um mine. Next is Piccolo. James Masters was an awesome Piccolo. I loved his new black costume, and I loved his voice. He delivers some of the most uh, epic lines ever, and I just love the way he talks. And James Masters, in my opinion, was the best actor in this movie. And I wish his character Piccolo got m more screen time and development. Uh, okay, the fight scenes in this movie, while not as intense as the Anna as it as the anime, they were realistic, like the fights in the original Dragon Ball 
and the final fight between Goku and Piccolo was more like the fight was more like the fights in Dragon Ball Z, in my opinion. I also like how the this movie was serious and somewhat dark, not PG-13 or rated R dark, but serious and um and dramatic and somewhat dark, not PG-13 or rated R dark, but dark. Um, nonetheless, with some minor elements of comedy, which I usually like in my comic book, cartoon, video game based movies. I also love the special effects in this movie. When discussing this movie with other people, I've at times referred to this movie as a B movie. No, this is a blockbuster. It just seems low budgeted in comparison to the other movies that were released during that year. The Key Blasts, the Auras, the Ozaru, the technology the dragon balls and the dragons were awesome i also love the background settings they were a mixture of ancient futuristic backgrounds the world the world feels just like the world in dragon ball now i'm going to talk about the um now i'm going to talk about the bad i did not like how yamcha did not know how to fight in this film despite being a major fighter in the anime I also did not like how Tien, Chaosu, and Krillin were not in this movie. I understand why they weren't here, but it still kind of sucks that they weren't involved in this movie. I also do not like how Piccolo's other half, Kami, does not does not exist in this film. Because Piccolo in this film is just one being. That kind of, that doesn't ruin his character, but that kind of makes his character less unique. And finally, I did not like how the Namics were evil just like the Saiyans whom, whom apart from several characters, I hate. And the Namics were a species of peace. But I accepted all of this because it, it is, once again, an adaption and a reimagining of the Dragon Ball franchise. But apart from all of that, I love this movie. And to this day, I still... Also, yeah, before, before, before I close this, I also did not like how this movie, um, this movie, we've seen this a lot with other movies like Mortal Kombat, um, Street Fighter, and, and other stuff. I kind of hate how this movie focused more on action sequences and special effects, special effects, and kind of ru- spent more time on those and didn't spend a lot of time explaining the story. They kind of rushed, um, the story. I wish there was more, m- m- I wish there was more storytelling and more, um, more character development but apart from all of that i love this movie and to this day i still hope this movie gets a sequel or a reboot this this movie was awesome it gets better and better every time i watch it I, every time i watch it, it it's groundbreaking okay um i'm finally done doug out